Mark, uh, my videos or the intention of my podcast is to give some tips to job seekers. So in that sense, what tips you have for job seekers and then how can they elevate their job search besides networking, besides LinkedIn that we talked about in previous videos? Yeah, so I mean, I don't, so, so the, you know, the, honestly, the best part about what I do is that, you know, my podcast, it's called Humans 2.0. You know, it's not called, uh, it's not called Entrepreneurs 2.0. It's mm -hmm. not called Marketing 2.0. Yeah. It's not called, uh, you know, Mental Health 2.0. Mm -hmm. For me, I talk about the stuff that I talk about because I'm trying to reach a wide demographic of people in which, you know, everyone's life is, is very different. However, the common denominator is that we're all human. And so my personal opinion is that as humans, we all have to deal with different buckets, yeah. different capacities of different aspects of, of living mm -hmm. that improve our performance. So whether it is um, your career or whether it is your mental health or what it is, or whether it's your relationships or whether it's your uh, contribution and giving back to other people into the world. For me, I'm interested in all of those. And so if someone walks up to me and they say, what are two things or what is one thing I can do if I'm a job seeker mm -hmm. to help improve my search? I'd probably tell them to go meditate. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would genuinely tell them to uh, go meditate because again, to go back to, um, you know, your question before, uh, previously yeah. of, uh, you know, how does someone decrease anxiety? Yes. Um, meditation. Mm -hmm. That's what it's for. You know, personally for me, I meditate in the morning for 20 minutes and then in an hour and a half from now, I'm going to meditate again for 20 minutes mm. overall for 35 40 minutes during the day and as, as someone who's busy as i am i still prioritize it because it gives me back more time yeah what a lot of people don't understand is that a lot of people will sit there and be like oh i can't i can't meditate for 10 minutes because i have to do this 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 and that but what people don't r realize is that if you meditate for those 10 minutes the rest of your time during the day is going to feel longer. You know, there's a, there's, a, there's a Buddhist saying that goes, if you feel like you can't sit down and meditate for 15 minutes, you should sit down and meditate for one hour. Wow. And it's essentially, it's saying that your feeling is an illusion. It's mm -hmm. a trick from your brain to try to convince you to not do something that will actually come back to you tenfold. Oh, wow. And so, a lot of what a lot of people don't understand is a lot of people view, you know, self care habits yeah. as just like these, like these 10% of like surface area activities that, yeah, you know, if you have the time, you can do it, but you've got to focus most of your time on your family and your career. I don't, I don't agree with that whatsoever. I, I think it's the opposite. Yeah. If you triple down on your self care, like the way that I view it is, what I do in terms of my self-care, in terms of my mental health, that is my full-time job. Yes. The businesses that I run, my speaking, my podcast, whatever, that to me is like a side gig. That to me is a side hustle. And the reason why is, you know, I maybe realized this in 2018 when we were talking, yes. the more I focus on self-care and the more I focus on these self-development habits, the more time I have the more I'm able to use my mind more, the more powerful my brain is, the better and stronger my body is that enables me to have a ton of energy to do all these things that I'm doing. Yeah. And so if anyone walks up to me like, hey, what can I do? Give me like one thing. I would say go meditate. Number two, or if not number one, I would say eat healthy. Mm -hmm. I would say don't put anything in your body that is not a vegetable, fruit, nut, seed, meat, uh, anything that's natural from the world and watch what happens to your productivity and your mm -hmm. brain energy. Yeah, I totally agree. Self-care is very important. We should take care of ourselves before taking care of others because those are important and meditation is important. Journaling is another thing that I would also recommend. And uh, just again, talking or listening to podcasts or in the mornings, 
Don't wake up directly, check your phone. Take time to take care of yourself in the morning, those five, 10 minutes, and then go do the rest of your things. And again, That's Mark, <laughs> thank you for sharing those. And for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips for job seekers, please leave it in the comment section. Like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and tune in tomorrow for my final question with Mark.